Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the JWAS EAP and Micro Profile. I am Daniel O. Let's get started. This video showcases how to build the boot of jar with the JWAS EAP Micro Profile 2.0. This is a new feature of JWAS EAP Micro Profile 2.0. Let's jump into the demo. So we're going to use the uh, existing Thumbtail application, as you can see. Uh, there are a few Java classes already implemented. When you go to Palm XML, you can find out the Thumbtail definition in your Maven project. We're going to package this application uh, wall file as an application artifact. And you can see the Thumbtail version, the 272, the final, the latest version of Thumbtail application, which allows you build and deploy uh, Jakarta EE or Java EE enterprise application with a small memory for free and fast way. So here are just uh, a few dependency to use JXRS to explore the RESTful API. Also uh, use the micro profile health specification to monitor your application status like liveness, readiness, Specifically, it's really beneficial to use this capability on top of the Kubernetes cluster, like an OpenShift container platform. All right, move on to take a look at the actual Java application implementation. Here is the RESTful API application, uh, return output code to JSON output, and the RESTful API is a greeting. And also, you can pass down parameter uh, key is a name and a variable, uh, something any keyword, but the default value is a word, so just like hello world application. When you go to application config Java file, you can find the context root to access to this recipe API dash API. And then we already implement one of the has check application for liveness status. As you can see, uh, when you access the liveness status endpoint, you can uh, just find out the output with the, uh, the full bar is a dummy uh, output as JSON format. Okay, move on. Try to run uh, this application using Maven plugin from tail color run, and then it takes a few seconds to start up and then a packaging wall file and to run this application uh, with the thumbtail and try to access the endpoint 88 slash api slash greeting without parameter just hello world uh, with the default value and then when you add a parameter like a thumb tail api and then we have got the return json file hello comma thumb tail api pretty cool and try to access one more uh, to find out the state of this application for liveness and uh, go to 8080 slash health dash uh, the slash live and then you can find the dummy output when you access the status. You can actually specify and implement uh, your actual application libraries. Okay, let's try to migrate this application to uh, boot of jar based on microprofile 2.0 based on JWAS EAP. In order to that, we're going to change the version based on uh, microprofile 2.0 GA version and then uh, we needed to add a few properties, uh, properties uh, to use dependency from a micro profile in JBoss EAP. So for example, you can see JBoss 7.3.4 version uh, property and also micro profile bomb uh, variable like a 2.0 and also there are Jcube uh, maybe plugin version because we're going to use Jcube tool you know, to packaging and containerize images and deploy this application to Kubernetes and Office container platform instead uh, using Fabricate, uh, which is deprecated in the previous version. All right, so one of it's uh, using operator uh, OpenJDK 11 uh, as a base image to build this application. So we don't need to use a Thumbtail bomb dependence any longer. So that's why we need to add a new dependency management dep uh, dependency based on uh, JBoss EAP Jakarta EE uh, with some two dependency and also JBoss EAP uh, micro profile bomb dependence as well. Okay, let's replace existing Thumbtail uh, dependencies here. First of all, JXRS and micro profile health. Uh, just comment these dependencies and then add a new one from the Jakarta EE micro profile specification. For example, you can find that Jakarta EE Enterprise CDI API 
for RESTful API implementation and parsing JSON uh, output, and also a micro profile has a specification. And last step, we need to uh, redefine the view and profile to use micro profile XP2.0. So we just define two different profile, first of all, Blobberjar, and this is a uh, implement based on Galleon uh, packaging feature. You can define multiple Galleon layers like a JXRS server and micro platform or a single sign like a decorator, etc. And another um, profile is for deployment to upshift based on JQ. So, so yeah, this profile will package this application and to deploy a container platform. All right, so try to package this application using global dash job profile. It takes a few seconds uh, normally, but depends on the, how many applications you have. And let's go to take a look at the target directory. Now we have a bootable jar here, xp20 uh, demo 2 ga bootable jar. Try to run this application just using Java command line. So Java dash jar and this bootable jar, as you can see, admin console is not enabled for this bootable jar. All right, to access the endpoint, as the same we did in the Thumbtail, we got the same result like a hello world and the API with a parameter name like a bootable jar with the xp and then we will find out the same result. And then let's try to uh, add another specification for micro profile capability uh, with the hashtag and the config. So in order to add a new data connection hashtag, we need to implement the, the general hashtag uh, classes. And also we need to inject the configuration capability on the micro profile specification using key data database dot up. And also we needed to access actual database but we just use to simulate database access uh, configuration so but we and also this uh, has check uh, for readiness uh, because we already live in this uh, has check status so uh, to create a new micro profile dash config profile file to define database uh, equal true which will be referred from the our application side okay we build this application once again and rerun this application and now go to another terminal and I try to access endpoint for hashtag. And but this is based on JWAS EAP, even though this is running on bureau jar. So that's why we need to access to the server admin management port like a 9990 port. All right, it's pretty cool, pretty simple. So next step, we're gonna deploy this application to upload the container platform. This is an empty project which he. Uh, doesn't implement, uh, implement any resources in this moment. So I just make sure to ex, uh, log in this project and to try to maybe uh, package once again with a different bootable jar upload the profile and the editing command OC colon deploy this argument allow us to deploy this application to upload using Upload the Maven plugin. In the meantime, when you go to target directory, you can find that uh, OpenShift the manifest already generated automatically under the classes directory and JQ and upload the YAML file. And you can also have a separate manifest resource file like a deployment copy, while uh, YAML file and service. When you take a look at that uh, OpenShift the YAML file. They are already defined multiple resources, for example, service and deployment config, uh, how to deploy this application using JQ with specify uh, container port and container name and specific port like uh, Prometheus 9779 or Jolokia port and just HTTP port as well. And the Redis probably here based on actually the health and ready uh, the default the endpoint and the route resources to export your application uh, by client. Okay, in the meantime, the opposite the console, the application are already running up. You know, just to try to add a new label. Uh, in the meantime, the JBoss. And the click on uh, the pod view logs, you can find that the enemy console is not enabled, just like uh, we saw in local environment. And you go up the log file, we can find that the bureau jar is running. 
uh, this application on a Bootstrap container platform. Try to open URL, you can see GUI, the bootable job, and uh, just invoke endpoint, just hello world, just like uh, we expected, and uh, try to add a new name, uh, like a micro profile uh, to the O, and invoke in a micro profile to the O, just hello world. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Have a good rest of the day.